guess who's back? Back again. It's your girl, Lin Wei. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Dun, 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 dun. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is your girl, Lin Wei, and there's absolutely no way without going through the way. Uh, we believe that Jesus Christ is the way. Okay, I, I need to stop doing that. that. But that song is stuck in my head. I feel like there's such great power in that song. You know, he is the only way. And I have, I just want, I just feel like sharing this. I don't know why. But like this week, um, I've started like memorizing some parts of the Bible. And the scripture that I'm, memo I'm memorizing I've been memorizing for this week is Jeremiah 32 verse 27 it says that I am the Lord the God of all mankind is it anything too hard for me and I was just like you are you 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 are God <laughs> like it's like because it's so interesting because it's like I've meditated on scripture before like I, I have different variations of how I meditate in scripture. Sometimes I write it more than once, like maybe seven, five times. Sometimes I revisit it like throughout the day, like maybe read it six, five times. And then sometimes I just dwell in one specific word. And in this one specifically is that he is God. Like how, how do I get to a position where I do not trust that he is God? I really don't know but anyway I just felt like sharing that that is outside of today's devotional so I'm gonna start recording um, it's day nine people it is day nine that means we are five days away from finishing and I hope that this has been as helpful as I guess I feel like that's the most important part like it needs to be helpful it needs to be opening you up to want to read your word more to want to love people better because that's one of the reasons why I wanted to know a bit more about this or why the Lord led me to it as well because my heart was grieving on I really want to love people better and the interesting part I have like you see the Bible app like the version app there is a part there where's my phone there's a part um, where they have like a prayer list and whatnot so there's a prayer that I made in 2021 no, it was, yes, 2021. I was asking the Lord to teach me how to love my friends better. How cute is that? So adorable. I just thought like sharing and I'm like, really, he's, 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 he's taking me a long way. So today we're going to keep about how, talk about how love keeps no record of wrongdoing. This needs no explanation. I just feel like a straight to the point. Love does not only forgive, it also forgets. That's super important. Love does not only forgive, it also forgets. And what does it mean to keep no record of wrongdoing? It generally means that you, your brain, you have amnesia. When somebody that you love hurts you, amnesia, you saw nothing. <laughs> like, I know it sounds ridiculous, but like, that's generally what it means. Like, it's like, once it happens, you forget that it happens. And it, it is a practice to do that because I have friends, yes, <laughs> that do certain things that annoy me and I just, yeah, they don't do me wrong, that's the funny part, but like they just, they just annoy me. So that for me is like, yo, 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 it's a tough thing and continuously it's like Ever since I asked the Lord to teach me how to love my friends, He has been giving me an opportunity to exercise all these things I have been like explaining like and doing the devotionals on the past <laughs> uh, nine days. Because it's like the more you pray for something, God gives you an opportunity for you to learn how like to, to develop that character. So it's quite interesting. So I'm just going to read a scripture in Colossians 3 verse 13 I didn't open the scripture today we're gonna see how quickly I open scriptures because the Lord has blessed me with an interesting hand I don't know I learned it quite quickly um yeah but anyways Colossians 3 verse 13 I just have so many things on here yes bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone forgive as the Lord forgave you 
the reason we are asked to forgive is because we have been forgiven. And I love that about Jesus so much. It's my favorite thing about Jesus. He'll never ask me to do something that he has not done. Jesus will lead by example. Jesus is the leader that we need. He will lead by example. He will say, um, carry this cross because he carried his own cross. He will say, die to yourself because he actually died. Like, do you understand? Like, he will say, I understand your suffering because he cried tears and tears of blood didn't get some money before he was about to, you know, go and die for our sins. Like, he struggled too. And, oh, I love that. I love, because it gives me such great comfort that the King and the Lord that I worship knows me and knows of my pain like he knows like there's this poem that I wrote called God of my pain a long time ago last year probably when I when my grandma my grandmother passed away was it that one I don't know but like something along those lines but yeah just knowing that that God will constantly show up God will constantly because he knows us he knows he really does and even when he asks of us to love like this, like this, this love that he keeps telling us. He loves us like that because he has forgiven us. That's why he's always asking that we must also forgive, you know, because we have, we were forgiven. And I feel like there's a scripture that speaks about to whom much is given, much is required. And I just forgot where it is. You see, this is why I'm, I'm memorizing scripture because I, I know scripture. I just don't know where to find it. Like, I know where to find it in terms of, like, the title, but I do not know where to find it in terms of verse and chapter. So, yeah, that's something I'm working on. Eventually, we're going to know how to do it. And I feel like, as believers, we operate out of overflow. This is something I wanted to share that was deeply in my heart. Like, we operate out of overflow, out of the overflow of our heart, the mouth speaking. <laughs> Look at that, that scripture. But I forgot where it is. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I just really want us to really get to that point as believers. To get to the point, like desire to keep no record of wrongdoing. And I feel like this is something that we can attest to and attain to. Because like I think it's in Philippians where it's speaking about whatever is pure, whatever is good, whatever is praiseworthy, whatever is excellent. You know, think about such things. And this is something that we think about. Like these these devotions like these one word devotions that we've been doing they are things that we can generally sit and think about and like is this something that i want for my life is this something that i want to do for the lord is it something that god is pressing in my heart for me to do because once you have that desire oof, out of overflow out of overflow guys i feel like there's this love that i cannot express that i have for what is happening with this camera it's, it's gonna make me so mad you see i've been patient i have been patient did you see how long it took me to get triggered <laughs> oh wow but anyway um really like there's a like there's this love that you get once you desire the things of god and there's an overflow of that mm, this camera i'm right here can you see me okay camera Yes, where was I? So out of the overflow of your heart, really, and out of the overflow of your desires, then you are able to really, and out of the overflow of Holy Spirit, like when you fill yourself up, yo, yo, like, because if we are constantly in the presence of God, constantly in intimate relationship with Him, when we go out, people can smell worship on you. I say this because I'm a person that's very, like, I'm very overtly Christian, like, I'm, I am in your face Christian. You don't have to ask me whether or not I agree on gay rights or I agree on homosexuality and like all these things. Of course I don't because that's, like my Bible tells me no, so I do not think that's something that needs to be argued about, I don't think that's something that needs to be conversated. So the interesting part is when I step out after my devotional and whatnot, I never have like negative run-ins with people that are not of my faith. There is this respect that I do not understand. That sometimes it's just like there's no way I just told you that you are a sinner 
and you are cool with it. Obviously, I don't say it like to their face, like, oh, Jesus hates that. No, I'm just like, my faith does not agree with that. And I'm entitled to my own opinion. See? I identify as Christian. I identify as saved. But anyway, I feel like now I'm just blabbing. But today's devotional is really just like, strive to keep no record of wrongdoing. Forgive for you have been forgiven. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subby. subscribe. Follow on my Instagram and TikTok and all the other things. Do the beautiful stuff. Comment in the comment section what the Lord has been doing. I'm excited to hear about all your stories and all your testimonies. Yeah, and you can also private message me for prayer points, anything that you need. I'm always open to that. I love praying for other people. It's incredible. I love interceding. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.